Hey guys, my name is Montana Parker and welcome back to the channel. We are going to be reviewing a cosmetic bag today. So if you are interested in getting your life organized, starting with your handbag, then girl, you in the right place. Just keep on watching. Okay, ladies and gents, we're going to be getting into a review on the Gucci Ophidia Small Cosmetic Bag. It comes in two shades on the inside. You can either get it in the poppy red or the green. I chose to get it in the green because, you know, sometimes you just want a little pop of color. You know, when your melanin is popping, you want your handbag color to be popping too. So this bag is very small, but it's not as compact as some of the other cosmetic bags that I have. So I have a mini pochette by uh, Louis Vuitton with my mom's initials on it. I have the toiletry 15, another small one and very compact. I have a Chanel O case. They call all of these O cases. I don't know why, but that's just what they do. And this is the flat pack O case. And then I have the cosmetic bag by Louis Vuitton in the small size. And so you can see they're all very different, but this size is the most different of them all. It's much shorter than the Louis Vuitton. It's much wider than this Louis Vuitton, especially this uh, Chanel and especially this mini pochette. So you get more width to put items in, but because it lays flat and it's so freaking squishy, you can really get away with smashing this down in your bag if you are a smasher. Now, ladies, I'm not a smasher. I like my bag to be very organized, neat, tidy. You know, sort of like I like my house, sort of like I like my car, neat, tidy. But if you just are having a day where you need something to toss something into and just keep it moving, then you definitely need little pouches like this in your bag. It keeps it neater than it would otherwise. So I'm going to show you what all fits in this uh, bag. So I don't have because I'm actually filming on my iPhone instead of my camera today. When I'm in my beauty room, I don't know why, but when I'm in my beauty room, the camera on my iPhone just looks better than the camera, the regular video camera. So when I'm in my beauty room, I'm probably filming on my phone. The same as when I'm filming in my family room, for whatever reason, phone looks better with a gimbal or a smooth, and so I normally use that. But back to the topic at hand, the review of this little bag, it does not fit a iPhone. So you can't use it as a clutch. You won't be able to, unless you're just gonna hold your phone in your hand, you won't be able to use it as a clutch. Sometimes I take my cosmetic bags from evening to night because I can use them as a clutch. This one, the small toiletry, does allow me to put the cell phone, this is just the case, but it allows me to drop the cell phone right in there. And so I can use this as a clutch. So you will not be able to use this as a clutch, but let's see how much stuff we could pack in here. So I have my daily essentials that I carry on most days. I carry a blotter Roxy. Um, this one is uh, by the Beauty Blender. I carry this because I don't apply makeup nor do I carry makeup with me during the day. So in my cosmetic bag, it's not gonna be full of makeup. That's not what I use um, during the day. Once I have applied my face and set it, I may take my lip color, I may take a pressed powder, which is very rare if I even carry the pressed powder. I have to be doing shoots or know I'm going to dinner with Bay or something really special in the evening in order to touch up. But for the most part, this blot of Roxy does it. So it holds the blot of Roxy, it holds pills, so if you are a person that just needs a pill every now and then, I am that person. I have um, migraines and I have a backache from a car injury, car accident injury. So I keep my pills, hand sanitizer because people dirty and so is Corona. I keep a neutral lip gloss because no matter what my lip color is of the day, a neutral lip gloss can um, refresh it. And so if you're interested, this is the Burberry Sugar Pink number 45. And I keep that in my bag. I do keep one cosmetic item that is just the item, the holy grail of cosmetics if I had to be on the run with makeup. And it is 
the LA Girl Pro Concealer. So I actually carry this daily. So that goes in the cosmetic bag. I carry a small ink pen, one with a firm snap so that it doesn't come, you know, doesn't snap and uh, smear all in the bag or one with a cap that's really tight. The ink doesn't get all in the bag. So I carry that, but I'm gonna put it in this little pocket here to make sure that it does not move. I carry a perfume, um, just a small one. This is the Ralph Lauren Romance. And I really love this one. It just has a freshening that can go on top of just about any perfume. When I'm wearing perfume, when I feel like doing that zhuzhin, when I'm being extra, then I use um, either the Jo Malone, uh, I think it's Coca, or the Jo Malone, um, I don't even remember their names. They're over there and I'm just too lazy to go get them. But normally I'll cocktail my Jo Malone perfumes together or I'll use the Moschino's Fresh, the pink one that looks like the Windex bottle. This layers beautifully on top of that. It, once the day starts wearing off and the perfume's wearing off, I just put a little spritz of that. I carry a neutral lip liner. I used to carry a brown lip liner. And what I found is that the neutral will still help the lipstick to stick, but it doesn't give me the line. And I don't really like the line anymore. I'm kind of over lining my lips. When I do line, I am lining my entire mouth, just not the outside of my lip. So the one that I'm carrying right now is the LA Girl Ultimate Intense Stay Auto Liner and Keep It Spicy. And it's very neutral. That's it right there. So it's just a neutral liner, just something to let the lipstick stick. I carry a lip gloss that can double as a lipstick. And the one that I'm carrying is from the dollar store. I thought so, yes. Y'all had nothing to say about me and my dollar store products. I love the Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree is all that and a bag of chips is no matter what you're looking for, you can find it eventually at the dollar store. So I bought this one by Elf. I think it's even a dollar on the Elf website. And the color is burgundy. So I put that in there. Um, and then I have this little kit that I made. This little box is a cotton swab box that came from the Dollar Tree. And I have two of them. They both have the same thing. I carry miniature things in here. So I have a miniature eyelash glue adhesive in case one of my lashes is loose. I have the tweezers, a miniature, a miniature toenail clipper for my fingernails or for a hangnail, thread that's hanging off of your garment. Don't pull your threads, clip them. I have a little brush and I normally use this to go up underneath my eye if I'm going to use a little bit of pressed powder at the end of the day. I have another uh, perfume sample. This one is Paco Rabani. And see, I've almost used it all up. And I just keep this in there just for that extra freshening. A miniature nail file, a flosser, a small toothpaste, um, and you could get these also from the dollar store. I take one of the small um, disposable toothbrushes that you could get from Walmart, Target, any of those places. And what I do is just cut the bottom of it off so that I can have a small toothbrush and I can um, use that throughout the day. Nothing like fresh breath. I have a small lip liner, I mean, a lip brush and a safety pin. And lastly, a Band-Aid. I used to also have in here um, a shout wipe, a um, fashion tape. But uh, what I realized is that once I had used those items, I didn't really need to replenish it. Um, so this really is just all of the essentials that I need on a day-to-day -day basis. The things that I know for certain I am going to use. I don't use fashion tape every day because I, I'm a modest dresser and I don't use um, a shout white because I'm a pretty clean eater. So this is my little essentials pack and it can fit that as well. And I'll show you, there's still plenty of room in this bag for multiple, multiple, multiple items. So I love this. I love the hardware that it has the GG and this is the sub substantial hardware. I love the Supreme 
canvas that is easily washable. You can just wipe it right off with a Clorox wipe or a makeup wipe. I love the bold red. I love that these tabs are actually sewn down so that after use, they don't start to like lift up and peel. Um, on the Louis Vuitton one, you can see how it has started to lift away from years of use because it's not stitched down. So I kind of like that this one is stitched down so they don't come up. It still has a small little pull tab here so that if you have the bag and if you have this bag in your larger bag, you could pull it out easily like this. So I do like that it has a little pull tab, but I wish they could have just stitched them on down, just stitched them down. This bag costs, I think $380 on the Gucci website and it is a wonderful, wonderful buy. So if you're thinking of getting yourself a cosmetic bag, again, you can explore some of the luxury houses, uh, Louis Vuitton, the Chanel, and I have another Chanel right there, another O case. But whatever kind of bag you're looking for, this one is one I highly recommend just for the durability of it. And I do like that it's very squishy. This um, bag is kind of structured, so it doesn't have that kind of squish to it. And this one has a lot of squish to it. It just doesn't have a lot of room. This one, the same. It's puffy. It just doesn't have a lot of room in it. And then this one takes up a lot of room in a handbag. And I don't carry very large handbags. Right now, I'm carrying the mini Balenciaga bag and it's super tiny so you can't just be stuffing huge makeup bags in it but I can fit this bag in my mini Balenciaga easily along with my wallet this is the Chanel card case wallet it fits in this small bag as well and then I can even carry another small accessory whatever accessory you want to carry um, and so I have another little small case that I can put into this bag and even though it's a small bag, everything fits. It still zips. It doesn't look stretched out. So even for a small handbag, it um, will fit in there nicely. So there you have it. That's my review of the Gucci Ophidia Small cosmetic bag and if you're interested in any reviews of any other luxury items that you've seen in this video just drop me a comment below and i'll be happy to do so thanks so much for watching bye